Hey, welcome back to Two Super Guys Trade Socks. I am Dylan. And I'm Vinny, and today we're going to talk about Wall Street bets and some of the best trades and memes of 2022 as we wrap up this year. Happy New Year's to all of uh, our viewers and followers out there from Dylan and I, but we're going to talk about some crazy wild stuff that happened this past year on Wall Street Bets. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, this Dylan's is, not quite the. Uh, is it? I don't know. <laughs> Dylan's not quite the Wall Street bets like uh, fan that I think I am because I I definitely I peruse it on a daily basis. I would say. Uh, oh really? I don't think you go on it very often at all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on a, almost every day. Just a browse. It's so. It, it's just depressing because you always see the one trade that made a million percent gain. And then a lot of times you don't see the 500 attempts of they lost everything they have. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's fantastic for both of them, actually. Um, you know, if you remember at the beginning of this year, Netflix really, like, fell on its face. You know, at Netflix ended the year down 52%. Ironically, that's not terribly disjointed from some of the other major you know, kind of tech stocks, yeah. right? With uh, Amazon ending the year the same way, you know, even, uh, you know, once worse for Tesla. But... Netflix was kind of the early runner in this, having these two massive kind of drops after earnings in the first like kind of part of the year. And there were some people that profited and made bank on, on Tesla. I mean, I'm sorry, on Netflix earning bearish plays. This is someone that turned 5K to 100K in a single night. <laughs> you, know what, Netflix earnings. you know what sucks about this is when this was at 600, I remember you thinking about doing this and then you didn't. And then it so, got destroyed. Yeah. I've been bearish on Netflix for a while. And honestly, and you know, it was kind of a little bit of, uh, what, what I want to say, schadenfreude, I guess, uh, enjoyment in someone else's pain to watch that actually come to fruition. But no, I did not, unfortunately, profit much on this. I did actually make a couple of trades on Netflix in, in the, the fun account. Um, here's, here's, a, here's a meme that you might get behind. <laughs> $9? Yeah, yeah. Work until your bank account looks like a phone number. And yep, it's just it 911. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> and here's another one that like, went completely YOLO on another Netflix earning play. So this one I had, like, the first one was kind of on the first dip, major dip. This person actually played the second major sell off, right? So, you know, uh, I'm sorry, it was the other way around. The that so first one wasn't even like that inventive as far as like having a major bearish bet against Netflix because they had seen what it did on the on the first one of the year, uh, you know, Q4 2022, uh, 2021 earnings. This one was actually just basically a copycat trade. <laughs> they put they turned 6K into a $430,000 oh in a single my day. Gosh, <laughs> you know, I, this one's more impressive because. You, you wouldn't think that a massive drop after earnings from, I think it was from, from like 580 to 400, you wouldn't expect another one. It, I, they got another one, but Jesus. Yep. Yeah, it was a pretty brutal start to the year. <laughs> this one, actually, I had, I had screenshot Dylan this, yeah. and this was someone just talking about their portfolio and how like it makes them depressed every time they open it, which is sad, you know? Like, I, I legitimately, I, I understand that. But the top comment here is what made me absolutely lose my mind. Uh, it's like, have you tried buying companies with positive cash flow or something smaller than 100p? <laughs> yeah, these are essentially all the 2021 stock uh celebrities if you will just they just all went absolutely insane fubo is yeah. not on this list but they should be no they have two that are blacked out here you're not allowed to talk about like a penny stocks basically on wall street bets so that those are about a couple of penny stocks that they lost 80 percent to 53 percent of their money on that's why they blacked them out <laughs> yeah uh, no. fubo and pluck would be on that list because they both went from under two dollars to 60 plus yeah and yeah, then pretty broke Yep, exactly. Um, what do you think of this one? Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, a massive affiliation with Wendy's on the Wall Street Bets forum. It's always a joke about Wendy's. This is probably my favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I thought it was pretty good. Um, so, this is sad. But this is the kind of stuff you see on there. This is, this is the flip side of those massive gains, right? Um, this person down 45K lost their dog, lost their fiance, and they're like, oh, how about I get some flair out of this? They did get a lot of flair, though, whatever the hell that dude's for. I have no idea. Wait. Despite being on Wall Street Bets regularly, but. What does flair mean? I'm uh, it's like these little. That movie. Bat yeah, yeah, Office Space. Uh, it's like these little badges up here. I don't really know if they're used for anything. I, I don't know. P people use it to award someone. Don't want to really understand the flair economy of Reddit. 
Uh, that could be a separate video entirely. But this is <laughs> this is the flip side of those ridiculous trades. You know, yeah. uh, this is this is what happens. You continue making those trades. You just kind of bleed off your entire account. End up down ninety eight percent. This isn't exactly a standout from that standpoint. This stood out just because this is very typical of the Wall Street bet loss porn that you typically see. Yeah, I mean, this is what happens ninety. Oh, this is the best one. This is actually yeah. the best one because this yeah. was me on Fubo for a while. Oh. Really, this is me on Alibaba, I feel like, you know? Yeah. We've finally gotten back up there. We got a little bit of positive momentum. I'm like, yeah. Like, you know, wear my Alibaba bag holder shirt here, you know, in case anyone's seen this. We do have an Etsy store link down below if you guys want to pick one up for yourself. Uh, but yeah, this is exactly how it feels to be a bag holder. Just a little bit of positive momentum finally. And you're like, damn. But yeah, in reality, it's still underwater. <laughs> the, the key is not to look at your buy in price, just the week's previous price. Then you're much happier. Yeah, it just works true. out better. Now, on that upward trend, at least, on the on the previous kind of section of that whole downward slide, you didn't want to look at your prior week's performance. Ooh, what uh, is but, this? Yeah, look at that sexy percentage. Holy crap, 17,000% gain in a month. So 400 bucks to 80,000. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that is what you do if you are right on your timing with being bearish on NVIDIA, Tesla, I don't know, STZ. Do you know that company? No, I don't no know, idea. I don't know that. But... Uh, Nvidia and Tesla have definitely had a brutal, brutal December, and this is this is really fresh. So this person is just like rolling in it right now. There's another one coming up too. <laughs> it's called Constellation Brands. I have no idea oh. what this is. Yeah, it's alcohol. Uh, I forget who, everything they own, but yeah, that's an alcohol company. It used oh. to be Stellantis or something like that, I think. Okay. Yeah, I am familiar with them actually. Now that you say that, Th this this is the kind of degeneracy that makes you just kind of slap yourself in the face. Uh, TD Ameritrade accidentally deposited $20,000 into this person's account. And you know what they did with it? They traded with it. <laughs> okay. I'm actually okay with that. Because if you look at how banks operate, if anyone did what a bank does, you are going to prison. I'm going to go off on a tangent. I won't go crazy here. But if they make a mistake and they give you 20 grand of their own stolen money, let's be real, you get that 20 grand. Okay? I don't... I mean, it sucks that he lost. That's, that's not great. But he should not be responsible for someone else's mistake. <laughs> Absolutely okay. not. Yeah, we actually did a separate video on this. Remember this? About the, the couple that accidentally got some money to deposit in their account and they went out and bought like a, a SUV and like jet skis and crazy stuff like that? Yeah. It doesn't end well. You end up in prison and paying it back. <laughs> I, j I don't think... You should. I, I heavily disagree with that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It doesn't end up very well for you. That's, uh, put it that way. No, this it definitely is, I think, doesn't. Probably don't listen to one me. Of my, one of my favorite memes from this entire thing. Uh, I'd be listening to Ernie's call for a company that owned one share. <laughs> just Patrick Starr, just sitting there. You're like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an investor. That, that, that's me when I listen to like any earnings call, I feel like. I don't really belong in this it's, room. But, it's just uh, sexy to say. That. Your wife comes in, what are you doing? I'm listening to the company's earning call. Yeah, come on. Super important. Yeah. So, you know, we've been pretty bearish this year, but this is a person that took it to a uh, quite a respectable level. Uh, imagine this. They turned 70K into 1.1 million. And this chart isn't like options overly spiky. This is just like the inverse of what the markets have done as it's like a, a slow kind of steady upward trend for the most part. There's some volatility here, no doubt. But and this is their positions. They went short NVIDIA, CAT, and then ASTS is uh, a long position they took. I'm not really familiar with that ticker symbol. I'm not familiar with that one either. Short NVIDIA was a good call. Yeah. Yeah, 6,000 shares. They went pretty big on that one too. <laughs> Let me see. What... ASTS. Yeah. So it's AST Space Mobile. It's a, I don't know, if you look at their chart, it does not look great. <laughs> no. This one is actually from like two days ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, nice. So on uh, so we're, we're shooting this. It's uh, January. Th I mean, December thirty first. So this person on uh, December 29th opened a bunch of put spreads. Look at this, six hundred and one uh, three eighty five put spreads on Spy, right? <laughs> and they closed it the next day. And they closed it at the right time. Not not only did they close it, which was smart, right? They closed it at the right time. <laughs> Yeah, it's even more important. At the end of the day, I think it went from 378 to 383, just like went straight up. Yeah, they closed it when the market was down over 300 points. So that's when they were able to make 136K in a day. Yeah. I and mean, they've been doing that 
aggressively all month. They, they've had some some major wins on the Bears' side all month. <laughs> it actually looks like, if you look at their chart, that they didn't lose. Yeah. They, they, I mean, at one, no point in the last month were they kind of below this negative. baseline, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That is pretty sexy. Uh, yeah. What do you think of this one? Have you seen this meme? Tessa, should why can't just be more like, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> it's... Uh, Pretty much sums up the experience of being a Tesla shareholder, doesn't it? You know what? Let me ask you a question. At what price would you buy Tesla? Uh, video research currently ongoing and should be out sometime this week, I think, is, is my goal here. I can't a little wait. more complicated. I'm going to take a, a, a very different angle on it than I think I've seen anyone else on YouTube take, put it that way. I, I feel like in that meme, can you go back? Tell me, would this yeah. not make the meme better if the mom was Kathy Woods? <laughs> I yes. think it'd be better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's one thing this year. You know, almost all of us probably had a better year than Kathy Woods. Oh, yeah. That. No, she's not doing well at all, though. In terms of her performance, she got, you know, high on those fees. That's for damn sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dylan, you remember we, we were talking about your your massively aggressive, like, bearish bet still ongoing that you, your first, like, put contract doesn't expire till June? Check out the expiration date on, on these. <laughs> March 17th, 23, that's, oh, he's going to get destroyed by Theta. Three months left, $104,000 position, and 340 put, so it's pretty still far out of the money. Homie. Uh, he's he's positive. He should just end it, and then just rebuy and add a year to the expiration. So th th this is ongoing. This is what you're going to see either – you know, I turned uh, $100,000 into a million dollars in three months or uh, I turned $100,000 into 600 bucks in like a, a bankruptcy proceeding in three months. We So uh, the video that we're going to release tomorrow, uh, we're actually going to go over Theta Decay. Um, when you get within three months, this is a problem because it, mm -hmm. it just you just like shoot down. It's not good. Maybe he knows something though. Three seventeen. That's like St. Patty's Day. Maybe it means something for the market. I will say, if you look at where we're at currently, it looks like we're about to shit the bed. Like we're very close. So All right. I, I hope it works. Yeah, I hope so, man. This will be. I'll have to remember this. Uh, the boss man, Moss won. Let's see how it works out for him. Yeah, nice. That's <laughs> yeah. pretty dope. That, that's the last slide. If 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 he wins, I win. So. Sweet. Very true. Me too. Actually, I still have my ongoing bearish bet too. We'll do a, talk about it in a separate video. But um, yeah, what do you guys think about uh, some of these Wall Street bets, trades, and memes from 2022? Pretty fascinating little subculture there, isn't it? Yeah. I did one Wall Street bet trade on Fubo. Never again. Not worth it. Just a bad idea. All right, dudes. Have a good All right. Day. Catch you guys in the next one.